Got a good one. Yeah, buddy. See, you got a little rain last night, so I started up and shot water up everywhere. Got to get used to that. There's the old stackaroo. I decided to go with black because I figured it would look better on this truck. Uh, once I go with the black wheels and the smoked out headlights, taillights, and all that stuff. So let's get her in the truck. Got the stack all installed. Now there's a couple of things I kind of took, I guess you could say shortcuts with, and that's because of uh, taking out the stack just in case I do decide to do that. Um, I just wanted to make sure that uh, it was a little bit easier. So like for down here, I didn't put a band clamp around there. However, I did put the fitting in there and then when I took the fitting, the stack up out to try to take the fitting off, it would not come out because it was so stuck in there. Um, and obviously with this band up here and that tack down in place, you ain't got to worry about that, you know, like sliding up off of that. So, um, that's fine. And then down on the underside, you'll see where that four inch adapter, four to five inch adapter where it sits on the bottom there, which by the way, this is an eight inch stack in case you guys are wondering. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys want to go check it out. Like I was saying, underneath where the four and the five four inch adapter adapts to this section of pipe that I made, it's up in there a handful of inches and it's not, I mean, yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to come out of there. So that should be fine. It was actually a very easy install since I had already done this portion yesterday. It made it a lot easier. Um, so we're going to be able to go for a little bit of a rip in the truck right now with a GoPro on the windshield and see see how she sounds. Now, it is pouring rain, so I'm going to do an in-cab video with the GoPro. This is by far the loudest truck I've ever heard. 
I, I, for sure, for sure out of the stuff that we owe, we've got some pretty loud trucks. This is the loudest vehicle we have, hands down. Loudest we've ever had at our place. It's crazy. These neighbors are probably getting sick of me because I'm putting black marks all over this intersection because it's like the perfect burnout spot because there's like no, there's like no traffic ever. But um, they don't, they're not, actually they don't mind it. They just stare at me, but they've never like flipped me off or anything, but they just stare at my truck. I don't know if they don't like it or if they think it's cool or what. It's loud.
traction now and then. It's just a blast. Oh my gosh. This video is pretty much just mostly just a drive in the truck with the stack, but no cars. So much fun. What do you guys want to call this truck? Right now I have the, the uh, playlist on YouTube as the Beater 12 valve. This is kind of what, like, that's kind of what it is to me. Like, it's like my beater truck. Like, if I'm just going to get up and go because I know I'm going to just be freaking flying around town or whatever, just, I just want to have fun, I drive this truck. Like, it is, it's a good, reliable beater. Like, it's a freaking blast to drive. Cannot wait to just build the crap out of this thing and have some fun with it. But even when I start building it, guys, it's still going to be my play truck. It's going to be my play truck. You know, if it was a fifteen, ten, fifteen thousand dollar truck like the other ones, nah, wouldn't touch it in that way. But um, for a truck like this, for three grand, guys, perfect. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> As you can see, I got this band clamp on here. Don't want to touch this thing, but get that tack down in there, right in the center, level the stack out. Got that band to hold it up in place. Perfect. But look at the cab. Just covered in soot. I don't really care with this truck, man. It's just, it's just a good old time truck. That's what it's for. Just having a lot of fun. But it sounds crazy. And I was going to weld some steel up really close to this hole just to close it in and to make it look a little bit cleaner. But then I decided no. And I also didn't put a band clamp on the bottom here. And I kind of explained why. Um, and I didn't put a clamp on the fitting down there that sits on top of the four inch. It's not gonna go anywhere. Like it sits down on top of the four inch with all that weight on it and it's all the way up in there. Um, and the exhaust down underneath the hangers and stuff and that, those well, those are actually welded down underneath the fittings that go up to that four inch where it, four to five inch adapter. They're not gonna go anywhere. You know what I mean? Like it's not just gonna jump up off of the fittings and disconnect from the pipes and stuff and somehow get off of this, you know, four to five inch adapter. Like it's, it is locked in place, especially with this band right here. and. Uh, with those metal screws going down into there. I mean, it's not going anywhere, so I'm not worried about it And also if I do decide ah don't want the stack on here anymore Just gonna take it off All I gotta do is take out those two screws and then if I just give it a little tug up It'll just the stack the whole stack would just disconnect up out of there without me having to really you know cut and grind and You know grind off welds and crap like that Like it'll just it'll just pop right off if I disconnect that and give it a good yank up. So um, But yeah, I'm totally cool with it the way it is awesome i forgot one more thing let me show you around this truck really quick here because we're doing a giveaway we're doing a 12 valve i don't know if i just got stuff on my face we're doing a 12 valve cummins giveaway we have this truck right here which is done being built and then we have another truck that's being completely repainted and interior work is getting done it's like clean up and stuff like that it's going to be awesome both trucks none of them are like rotted on the frames or anything like that none of them are like beat up they're i mean they're like show quality trucks that any anybody out there would be proud to own so nice that uh like i said i couldn't do this kind of stuff with those trucks they're too nice the trucks that you just want to keep running them like clean and safe and you know like the right way so that they can get years and years out of them because they're in such good shape like you just want to baby them this truck it's in pretty good shape the body and stuff the engine runs awesome but i paid three grand for it specifically so i could have a truck that i could have fun with and rough house with and not feel bad about damaging an expensive truck. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention, I wouldn't want to break a truck that's, you know, ten to $15,000 if you were to go sell it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, um, not something I really want to do, but this truck, totally. So, anyways, I'll show you around these trucks. But, by the way, link in description or go to my website, which is right here, teamlmp.myshopify.com. Every $20 you spend gets you another entry into winning either this truck or a silver, a metallic silver, five-speed dually. They're both 12 valves, beautiful trucks. This one's an automatic, the other one is a five-speed manual. Both have 205,000 miles and uh, beautiful, beautiful trucks. Let me show you around this one real quick. I mean, no rust on the rockers or anything. I mean, it's not, not a speck of rust on the thing, except for a little bit under here on the frame here and there. There's a little couple little spots but nothing, I mean, nothing to worry about.
I mean, zero rust in the fenders. I mean, nothing. Clean, clean, clean. Link in the description to get entered into the giveaway today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you are new, join the team, join the family, enter the 12 hour giveaway. Don't have anything to lose. You get awesome, cool merchandise and a chance to win a freaking mint truck. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.